Hello everyone, I am Mr. Programmer, once known as Kanani Weezy. This tutorial will show you the uses of ArrayList in Java. I will disclose some examples with ArrayList. This video is video number 1 in the Using ArrayList in Java series. First, I will open the Eclipse IDE. Using the Eclipse IDE is not required. You may choose any IDE or no IDE to program. For personal preference, Eclipse IDE provides the most amount of features and less annoying visual designs and much faster and less detailed graphical user interface. On the other hand, the NetBeans IDE provides a visual editor. I'm going to now create a new project. I will title it Example. For more information about creating a new project in Eclipse, see my other video. Now let's create a new class loader. This class will serve as the main and only class in this program. Please note this is just an example class to demonstrate the use of ArrayList. First, let's import the ArrayList class. You will notice that Eclipse underlines it in yellow. This is the result of a warning. Warning serves to remind developers that their code is dead, not properly done, and much more. You can compare warnings to grammatical notices in Microsoft Word, which are underlined in green. Now we need to make a static main method that accepts arguments. Any class that has this type of method can serve as the loader or main class. Time to create an array list. Since we won't have any other classes in this example project, I'm going to make it private. Private is a Java modifier that only allows limited or private access to the object. I'm going to call my array list friend. Inside those the semi braces defines the type of fields the arrayless can contain. I chose string as a list will contain a friend's name. Friend's name. Sorry. Next, I want to look at options I have to do with my arrayless. You can always look at options of code by entering a period. Eclipse uses IntelliSense and displays what you can do. For example, I want to add my friend Jonathan to the list. I can do that using the add method. The add method has an object perimeter. The object must be the type of field your ArrayList can hold. The ArrayList can contain more than one of the same content, so I can have two Jonathan friends. Let's just say I had an argument with Jonathan, and I'm not friends with him anymore. I can use the remove method. The same rules apply for removing and adding. Every friend inside the array list is an element. If I were dealing with cell phone contacts and I don't remember if I have a number on the list, I can use the contains method. The contains method is a boolean. If the list contains an element equivalent to the contains perimeter, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. If we wanted to find our best friend, we could use the get method. Array lists have slots that can also be called compartments. Each slot has an identification number starting from zero. I'll create a new string variable and get slot two from friends. Since we don't have three friends on our list, I'll add some more friends, Nathan, Jimmy, and Peter. Let's test our program out. Nothing happened. Well, at least that is what appears to the user. We need to show the user what is going on. So I'm going to print out the, to the system all the elements or, or friends in the list. Now, as we see, the console shows the list of friends. Notice the brackets surrounding the elements. To remove these, we can make a string method that replaces the bracket with nothing and returns back the new string.
just modify the code to print out the parentheses after the brackets have been replaced. We need to convert friends to string. Now let's retest our program. Now the console shows the list of friends without the bracket. If the user wants to see which friend is your favorite, you can print it out twice. Now let's test our program once more. The user can now see all of the elements in the list and see the selected element. This video is video number one in the Using Array List in Java series. See the description for captions. Thanks.